While the unit is setting up a cordon and search in a remote village, heavy fire begins to come from various buildings in the village. A heavy machine gun opens up from a fortified position and rapidly forces the unit to seek cover behind nearby buildings. Mortar fire starts to impact around the unit as well. The unit commander grabs his fire support officer to get attack aviation inbound, but learns they are already supporting troops in contact elsewhere. The fire support officer recommends using artillery to destroy the heavy machine gun position. The unit commander, knowing how close they are to the enemy, imagines artillery rounds killing the enemy but falling close enough to hurt his own soldiers. The fire support officer, having properly prepared his equipment and confirmed their availability over the fire support net, recommends using precision guided munitions to destroy the heavy machine gun position. The unit commander approves the recommendation for the use of precision guided munitions. The fire support officer uses laser rangefinder and pocket sized forward entry device to determine the target location. He views the precision fire's image and conducts the target coordinate mensuration process then sends the call for fire to the fire direction center. The call for fire is received, processed, and executed. The round impacts precisely on target, destroying the position and clearing the pinned down soldiers to assault into the village.